Hello, the great citizen today happens to be a fast day again, a very cold one of sort, and it rained since morning and today we want to commend you who are already working and doing what you can to add value to this country. This is Uganda First, I'm Andrew Chiamagero Muntuawansi and the conversation is still about patriotism. This program is powered by the National Patriotism Corps Uganda and just today we're going to be talking about building a quality citizen. With me in studios, I have Beatrice uh, Bananuka, happens to be an assistant commissioner at the National Secretariat of Patriotism Clubs, Office of the President. And I have uh, Madame Nampi Makakongi Evelyn, the principal of Mulago School of Nursing and Midwifery. And you yourself, the great viewer today, be a part of this conversation on Twitter and the other digital platforms with the hashtag UgandaFast. Let's celebrate as Ugandans. But before we actually have this conversation, we'd like to first go down and we see what was happening at some of these places and what are the citizens talking about the patriotism conversation in this country. Commanded by uh, Namitala Lori. Patriotism training, it is a course that teaches us the how to love your country. I mean, the how of loving, the how of being devoted to your country the how of being passionate as a Ugandan, the how of being a proud Ugandan. On top of that, I'm privileged to be a student nurse. So I've come to discover how best can I be a nurse, serve my country to the fullest as a Ugandan. So this training in Mulago School of Nursing has created a platform to learn about so many things in Uganda. I've learned a lot as the parade commander and it was fun, it was a great experience. We learned how to love our country and how to prioritize the needs of those that need our help. And I have learned to implement one or two things that I've learned in my course like helping the sick. I will not be taking those that have money but I'm going to be taking all patients equal and because of patriotism, I will never take money from the patient because I've learned that it's not, it's not good. In fact, it's a, it's a harm to the country. I had actually forgotten some things, history of Uganda. So they, went, they took us through the history of Uganda, the pre-colonial times, the colonial times, and the days uh, after independence. So we got to know more about our history. Because there's a saying which says, you can't know where you're going when you don't know where you're coming from. So I feel like this is something good for even other youth. Yes, at times it is challenging when you don't love it, but the more you get engaged, you get to love it. And when you love it, you benefit. The mindset is the one that is causing all the challenges that we have in Uganda. For example, as a student nurse, I've, I've been experiencing some challenges on, uh, in the hospital. Uh, maybe uh, patients have been asked for money. We've, we've had those challenges on news, the, how midwives behave. But this is all about mindset. Patriotism is the way to go. When maybe all the civil servants all the health workers are taken through this training, it can liberate our country. After our mindsets being changed, we all know people come up with ideas, people innovate things, people go into agriculture, people will make sure that everybody participates in wealth creation. And this is what patriotism is teaching us, to bring out the best out of us. I love Uganda, I serve Uganda, I sacrifice for Uganda, I love myself. 
With everything that has been learned, my mind has been changed about that. I never used to keep time, but with this four days study, at least I've tried to manage time, and obviously I'll go out there to be a better person in the near future. Let's look at the Bible and the Quran, those two holy books. They all teach us how to love your neighbor, how to love yourself, and it's like how to love everyone in the universe. So if the Bible and the Quran, they are all teaching us the love. According to science, the human mind is like a fertile ground. If you plant seeds into it, they will grow. And if you don't plant seeds into it, weeds will grow. So there is need to plant good seeds of love into this fertile ground, this fertile ground of the human mind. We believe that there is need to teach patriotism because as hatred can be taught, love can also be taught. I started loving my country and now I'm like advocating or asking the government really to re emphasize on that program and to involve. By the way, patriotism must be a must to every citizen in the country because now people are doing different things like corruption, like torturing others because they have not undergone that training. You have to extend this program to the society, like teachers, because teachers are the ones who are grooming the future generation. If they teach everyone that program, I think the country will live at peace and all Ugandans will enjoy their country. So it is a humble plea to the seniors of Uganda as we are training, as you're training us, the young generation, let's instill the patriotic measures as we are being exemplary. So fellow Ugandans, choose to love Uganda. Irrespective of the age, irrespective of the level of education, irrespective of the status, irrespective of name it, let's join hands as Ugandans to love and serve for God and my country. They want academic excellency, but in choosing academic excellency, they are squatting the mindset of the child. It's not a question of getting distinction one of principal A's that matter. The best degrees are not the best citizens. Now we change, we want to change your mindset together with us so that we rhyme together. Patriots, I love Uganda, I serve Uganda, I sacrifice for Uganda, I am loyal to Uganda. Well, there you have that was the Mulago uh, School of Nursing and Midwifery. I, I, I really want to celebrate that. When, when, when you saw all these, uh, Madame Kakonge, what was the feeling like seeing your, your, your students undergoing this course and they come out triumphant and they're proud of the entire process? Uh, allow me to Please. put on my ma off my mask. Yes. Good morning, viewers. Uh, after seeing what my students have gone through the training, mm. I was so excited mm. because I'm seeing that I'm raising uh, a future generation mm -hmm. who are res very responsible. Mm. And basing that we are training nurses and midwives, I'm very optimistic mm. that when, we are, when they graduate and they are attached to the health facilities, mm. we are going to have nurses and midwives mm. who are going to render services beyond self. Mm. Nurses who have the heart, mm. nurses who have the compassionate, who are able to reach out mm. where others have failed. I'm really very excited mm. to have such students in my training. That is very critical. Now, Beatrice, I, I, I love the secretariat's approach. Kwanzaa we had the students, then we had the teachers, and now we are having the nurses already also falling into the bracket. There is one statement that has kept sounding from three of them when they were actually explaining about the entire process. They said Kitu Kidogo in hospitals, especially in the referral hospitals, they want to fight it. They are now much more in tuition to actually go against that kind of thinking. As a secretariat, when you look at these people even agitating that it should be a compulsory course for every Ugandan. Mm. As a secretary, do you feel you're achieving? 
Thank you, Andrew. Mm. Good morning, viewers. Good morning. Permit me to remove my mask as Please. well. Yes. First of all, I'm happy to be here. Mm. Uh, this is not my first time to be hosted <laughs> in this wonderful studio. Yes. Uh, we thank God for the good collaboration. Mm. As a secretariat, we are very, very happy mm. about our programs of patriotism. Mm. As we have seen what is exhibited, what the participants usually talk about them, mm. it's very, very important. And uh, where we are heading, it's our dream and prayer mm -hmm. that every citizen in the country mm. undergoes these trainings. They okay. are very, very key. Mm. They are good for us as a country. They will help us a lot. Mm. So that Chint Chidogo you are talking about in hospitals, mm. that one can be fought through from the mindset models. Mindset models. Mm. If you train people how to fight corruption, it mm. is through these mindset trainings that we can emphasize mm. in the country. So I'm very happy about it as a secretariat. Mm. Um, we are aiming at ensuring that almost everybody in the country undergoes mm. the trainings. We started off with secondary schools, yeah. but now we are moving. Mm. Everywhere in all the institutions we are there, nursing there. institutions, mm. universities, mm. everywhere. Even the working class, by the way. I saw you know, the other day on the National Water as well. Good. Uh, National going Water, same. Uganda Railways Corporation. Mm. We are training all people, all citizens. Mm. That is our dream. Mm. We feel we should reach everywhere and give this message to the citizens of Uganda for, every citizen. for a transformational change. It, it makes a lot of sense. Beatrice, I saw when one of the nurses said that uh, previously she was not a good timekeeper, she was a little bit complacent with work. Um, when she would come through, she, she wouldn't have the same drive as it was, as it is as of today. What are some of the challenges were you seeing with your students back then and after undergoing this training that you've started to see a little bit of change in one or the other? Yeah, thank you so much. Mm. Maybe I could give you an example. Mm. Uh, when I was just promoted mm. as a principal of yeah. Malago School of Nursing and Midwifery, mm. uh, we decided to, make our stu to tell our student mm. to do some kind of cleaning. Yeah cleaning around the environment. Mm. But to my surprise, the student did not like it. Mm. And actually, they started cocooning themselves. Mm. And they, at one point, they went into strike. Oh. <laughs> because uh, that I think that, that, that was <laughs> around 2017. Mm. Mm. And one of the reasons that made my student to go in strike mm is they did not like the idea of cleaning the oh. environment. And this was not to be on daily basis. It was just once in a week. Mm. Yes, you are. But they were we, resistant. They were very much resistant <laughs> about <laughs> it. <laughs> and we said, you know, what should we do about all this? Yes. Good enough, we had some kind prior training of, of patriotism. Mm. But then we said, you know, we have to make sure that we strengthen it. Mm -hmm. We have to make sure that we do it on a regular basis. Mm. But I want to tell you, I'm really so much surprised mm. and very appreciative. Uh, right now as I talk, it is among themselves. They come to my office. They're self-motivated. And then they say, mm. Mama <laughs> Principal, <laughs> can you please provide for us some cleaning materials? Wow. And they are able once in a while to do some kind of cleaning. Mm. And this is a result of the patriotism training. Mm. Before that, they were considering how can a diploma nurse mm. eh, be found in cleaning? Mm. Mm. Uh, be when we it's all rushing. have, when we are having the, <laughs> the, the cleaners. cleaners around yeah. and mm. we pay our school fees, they didn't mm. look at it like that. Mm. Mm. But surprisingly, they come, even they go out and mm. do communal work. Sure. And among the communal work, it includes cleaning around mm. the marketplaces, Katanga mm. area. Mm. So, I, I'm really very grateful. You see, when, when you hear what um, uh, Madame Kakonge here is saying is mm. that there was a change, there was a shift in the minds. Yes, yes. Previously, they had come from the universities mm. where they came from, even mm. the institutions, mm. but the mind was a little bit still clogged. Mm. And after this enlightenment, it came through. Today, they were at Molago. Um, Madame Bitwes, I want to understand, 
Is this conversation directly proportional to other referrals in this country or training institutions? Yes. Uh, we don't only go to Malago, ref, uh, Malago School mm. of Nursing, mm. but uh, all the nursing institutions in the country, mm. we usually visit them. We take the same message, mm. um, not only in um, Malago, mm. but everywhere in the country. At least we have been to many uh, schools of nursing. Mm. So the message goes. It's still the, the same. Goes. Mm. That makes sense. Yes. Uh, Madam Beatrice, uh, Brother Evelyn, if I could come back to you. Talking about building a quality citizen, I want to pick from one of the, of the student. He said that your brain is like a fertile ground. Whatever you feed in there and you nurture grows. As a country, how best can we breed, nurture, and groom? A quality citizen uh, the best way to go mm. I could say is embracing the patriotism training okay. within the patriotism training mm. you will find that it has core values and norms mm. and when uh, people are able to embrace the core values they become responsible people mm. They, they are people who are determined to love, first of all, to love themselves, mm -hmm. to love their nation. Mm -hmm. And if they have deeper love, which is unconditioned, mm. you will find yours themselves that they are able to serve willingly mm -hmm. without anybody forcing them and even be going beyond self. Mm. So I would think that if you are able to embrace this patriotism training mm. and make sure that we anchor on those norms and the values, values mm. with a positive attitude. Mm. You know, at times, this positive attitude, the negative attitude, the, the way they distort somebody's uh, mm. mind. Mm. And instead of doing the right thing, you find a person going, uh, going the other way around. Mm. But if we are able to work on their attitude, mm. and everyone knows the, his or her own obligation, you may find that mm. we may be able to come up with proper citizens of mm. Uganda. Wow. Well, be a part of this conversation on Twitter. The hashtag is Uganda First. And we have a WhatsApp number that is on the screen. Send us your messages on how best we can build a quality citizen to this country. Be a part of the conversation from wherever you're watching from. Now, this brings me back to you, Beatrice. Mm. Nurturing a quality citizen. Who is a quality citizen as per the Secretariat model? Um, a quality citizen, according to us, mm. is that person who abides by what the country wants. Mm. The person who cherishes the core values that we preach. Mm -hmm. As a secretariat, mm. we have core values which we feel every citizen in the country should have. Mm. You've had some students talking about time management. Mm. It's one of the key patriotism value, mm. which is lacking in our country. Mm -hmm. So there are so many core values that we would wish to see in everyone. Mm. Are you a good time manager? Mm -hmm. Do you do your work very well? Mm -hmm. Do you trust other people? Do you love them? Mm. Love is very, very key. If you don't love your neighbor, mm. you will not do what it takes to make him happy, mm. to serve him well, and to serve your country. Mm. So those are some of the core values that we would wish mm. to see in some in people in our country. I love your usage of word you would wish. Yes. In, in, in this instance, can we take it a little notch further because it starts from the family unit. Mm. Yes. Um, um, the role of parents mm. in bringing up a quality citizen, is it, is, shouldn't it be mandatory for parents to undergo some patriotism classes? Now, you're going through institutions. Mm. What is the strategy um, of the Secretariat with regards to engaging villages? Pa you can maybe tap into the parish model. Is it going to come down to that as well? Yeah, true. Mm. You know, they usually say that the charity begins at, at home. home. Indeed. The parent is really key in mm. modeling these children of ours. Mm. If the parent does not do his or her work very well, mm. then we are wasting time. That's true. Many times we blame teachers, the mm. children are not doing what is expected of them. Bec but 
Me, I feel as a person, mm -hmm. the parent has a key role to play. Mm -hmm. So as the parents, we should start from home, mm -hmm. engage our children, mm -hmm. mold them very well, such that when they go to school, the teachers also build from there. Mm -hmm. But many times, the parents have neglected their roles. They are looking for the money. Yeah, the prices they, are, are they are out there. Mm -hmm. They are absent parents. Mm -hmm. So what happens? Chaos. So I feel parents who are looking at us here, mm. it is your duty to ensure that you instill core values mm. among in, the, in your children. Mm. Hey, discipline but, but, but starts but from see, home. Madam Beatrice, you can't give what you don't have. If a um, 23 or 25 student of nursing says that before I never kept time, we have a parent down there who doesn't love his country. Mm, How is he going to tell his child to love the country? I, I, I want to understand, does the Secretariat have um, a model that's going to reach the village level? Because now you're going through institutions, which is a very good model because it's organized communities. Mm. What is the Secretariat thinking about us who are in the villages? Um, are, are you going to, to meet us through the parish model? Are you going to reach us through other different clusters, maybe through the RDC's office? What is the plan like? Andrew, you know, mm. uh, when this program of patriotism started, mm. it was launched in schools. Yeah. His Excellency the President mm. tasked institutions, especially heads of institutions, mm. to ensure that the program is embraced in schools. That's true. The head teachers formed the clubs, mm. but later on, we are now beginning to come out yeah. because we really feel we have other key stakeholders mm -hmm. who must help us uh, to ensure that this patriotism message sinks. Mm -hmm. And those parents are very, very key, as we have said. Mm. So as a secretariat, we are now beginning to look outside the box. Mm -hmm. We are thinking outside the box. Actually, our wish is can we expand the patriotism secretariat now? Mm. We want it now to be a national service program mm. such that everybody is engaged, mm -hmm. beginning with the people at the grassroots level, the parents. Mm. We need all of them engaged. Mm -hmm. Actually, when we go to schools mm. to talk to the head teachers, we usually tell them, mm. can you bring the parents on board? Nice. You know, they usually have meetings of parents in mm. their schools mm. so we usually tell them engage us also we come mm. and we help you to talk to these parents about their key roles mm. as parents because the message of patriotism what we teach it's all about discipline yeah. grooming a responsible citizen, citizen. that mm. is what we preach mm. and all of us must combine we must work together mm. to ensure that we groom this young person to become a responsible person yeah, That's yeah. when we shall eliminate mm. these unpatriotic acts mm. that you see in our society. Mm. Everybody must come on board. The parents, mm. the teachers, everybody, mm. the leaders of society, mm. we must all speak the same language. Mm. Otherwise, this work is not only for us, the patriotism secretary. It is a national cause. It's a national cause. Well, that's a great conversation. We're still having uh, with me in studio Zaiva Kakonge, who happens to be the principal of uh, Mulago School of Nursing and Midwifery. And we have uh, Ananuka Betrace, who is an assistant commissioner at the National Secretariat for Patriotism Clubs, the office of the president. I'm going to take a break for now, but when I return, I'm going to read some feedback off Twitter and off the WhatsApp, the number will be on your screen. This is Uganda Fast. Good morning. Well, I want to see the conversations on Twitter. It's a little bit overwhelming. The hashtag is Uganda Fast. Once you use that, I'll be in position to actually see whatever you're actually tweeting, and I will respond to it. it with me in studios, I have um, Madame Nampi Makakonge Eve, uh, who happens to be the principal of Malago School of Midwifery, and we also have Bananuka Betrace, an assistant commissioner at the National Secretariat for Patriotism, and um, we are having a conversation about nurturing a quality citizen. Um, we have Fred uh, Steven says, 
corruption it says indeed mindset change can help tackle corruption but also reporting the corrupt at all levels is another critical thing then my question to um, madame Evelyn is um, at the top we are dealing with the with the ones at um, the grassroots level are you 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 other team middle managers within part of the programs as well are they understanding the goal here and are they responding positively okay uh, thank you so much uh, when we talk about uh, the top level mm. like my entity yeah I'm from the Ministry of Education and Sports yeah and uh, mainly under the Department of Health Education and Training. Mm. And this is headed by Dr. Safi Nakisu Mosene. Mm. I would like to say that uh, in the education sector, we are so fortunate that the person who is heading the Health Education Training mm. Department mm. is the person who initiated the patriotism training within mm. the heresy training institution mm. yeah, she was so she's a very patriotic <laughs> lady mm. and is understand what it means to be a patriotic mm. uh, to be patriotic yeah. and you f and you realize that she's the one even who persuaded me mm. to undertake this training nice. and we are seeing we are we are preceptoring mm. everyone who comes on board is pre preceptoring mm. our students so they have this patriotic mm. heart and they are able to render the services beyond self. Mm. What I can say that within the health training institution we are very conscious about our nation. Mm. We have deep love which is unconditioned because we want to see if a, a changed a health system. Mm. We know that the products that we are producing they have had an impact within the health sector mm. and they will continue to 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 give that impact mm. yes um then this one comes to you um beatrice uh someone called daniel zmawa he says patriotism is born with do you teach your children to love you or it comes naturally mm -hmm. uh, make living conditions better than citizens who love this country otherwise we're just eating money and keeping quiet what could be your message to Dennis Mawa? <laughs> is it an issue of the mindset again? That one is just amazing. Mm. Um, he's saying that uh, you can Patriotism is natural It is him. natural that mm. you cannot teach it. Mm. But I want to differ from him. Mm. I think uh, if he understands what patriotism is, mm. just making people conscious of who they are, mm -hmm what their country is mm -hmm. and what they should contribute towards it mm. and uh, it's just a matter of always reminding people about their duties mm. so uh, when we go if let me give an example of our churches mm. our churches have been here from time immemorial mm. the religious leaders are always teaching these values to the christians every sunday every sunday mm -hmm. why is it that they continue hammering that same message just for reminder yeah. I, I'm a teacher of mm. literature mm. and uh, we usually know that uh, repetition mm. is for emphasis. Yes. It's, for, mm. it's for emphasis. Mm. So whenever you give this message to the people, to mm. the people, they keep on remembering it. Yeah. It's just for emphasis and you can always hammer that mm. message but through mm. these trainings, through mm. reminding people of their responsibilities. Mm. So you can teach someone to love mm. much as you can teach someone to hate. Mm. Haven't mm. you seen people instigating others? Yes. Telling them, can you hate this one? Do mm. this, do this in a wrong way. That is very bad. Mm. So in, with patriotism, you can use it to change people's mindsets, mm. to tell them what is good or right. Mm. You cannot love your country, Andrew, if you, you don't, don't understand yourself. it. Mm. And you begin with yourself. Mm. So through these uh, trainings for us, we sensitize the people, mm. we tell them their roles, mm -hmm. we teach them about their country. Mm. There are people in our country who do not understand it. Yeah, yeah. Mawa doesn't seem to understand They it don't already. know. Mm. Ask a person about a constitution, for instance. Mm. I've been to many gatherings. Mm. You ask people, do you, have you ever seen a constitution? Mm. They will tell you no. 
they have mm. never touched it access to information it's our duty now mm. to teach them about mm. the constitution who will do it mm. we have to teach people their civic responsibilities yeah. we have to teach them about what is in our country mm. do we all understand our resources as a country we don't some of us don't move mm. we are ever there talking 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 here against our country mm. we don't know it mm. so we can inculcate all that information, all that love mm -hmm. through these messages. Mm -hmm. So that is where you come in now mm -hmm. to teach patriotism to the people okay. so it can be taught. Um, Edward M. Ojara, thank you so much for being a part of this great show this morning. He says, it's a long way to go for corruption to stop in this nation. He says, I had a primary teacher who used to smoke. He would every time tell us not to practice what he does, but what he tell us to do we don't need to teach people about corruption we should just practice the right thing as a country um thank you so much Anne walusimbi says it all starts from the top thank you for the conversation that is on twitter i'm actually picking these tweets off at twitter and um, i'm relaying them the number of whatsapp is on the screen um uh take away, we can have the number of uh, whatsapp on the screen and that is the number send us uh, some whatsapp and then we'll actually get some content off from your end and you'll be a part of this conversation uh, coming back to you uh, madam kakonge this coming from um, the medical world the challenges today are many um the students especially the medical practitioners have always complained about their their facilitation it's not enough the incentives don't seem to be enough do you think patriotism could be the answer if they understand, if they come from the school of thought that, uh, yes, we have meager resources, but we can work within these to deliver our work while we agitate for better pay? Uh, thank you so much. Mm. Um, I would like to say that when you understand what patriotism is, mm you begin to know that you are a very responsible citizen mm. and good enough within our profession as health workers mm. we have the code of ethics mm -hmm. and this code of ethics it also ha has relationship mm. with the core values within the patriotism mm. whereby we are given responsibility mm. of taking care of the patients, yeah. taking care of the client, mm. and taking care as of, of the mothers at mm. all cost. And with the nurses and the midwife, we have our perfect example, uh, Lolo Modo, the nightingale, mm. who served beyond self. Mm. When it comes to issues dealing with in in initiatives, mm. and we are seeing that we are living within little resources, mm. I would think that, personally, I would think that we shouldn't lose our focus. Mm -hmm. Our primary role is to respond to the call. Mm -hmm. I would like to say that our profession is not like any other profession. Mm -hmm. Our profession is a call from God. Mm -hmm. And actually, our anthem say that we have been chosen, yeah. not by any other person, mm -hmm. but we have been chosen by God mm -hmm. to love and serve. Mm -hmm. Uh, I would think that dealing with remunerations, we could have a better way of doing it mm. other than saying that we are laying our toes down. Mm. They always we, do. We, uh, <laughs> that is my personal opinion yeah, I, I and you. being patriotic. Yeah. Because we, we, we have a responsibility, obligation, mm. which necessitates us to work and to support and to defend our nation. Yep. So if I lay my tool down mm. and the patient comes, I'm not there. A mm. mother comes for delivering, I'm not there. Mm. And if anything goes wrong, how am I going to answer it? Mm. Uh, the, the beauty in patriotism, it has a, a, a value of God-fearing. Mm. As uh, our motto. As, as our motto. And mm. even, uh, you, you know, this religion, there are certain things they teach us. Mm. At the end of that day, if I've not done my responsibility, mm. yes, what about if that, that money is given to me mm. and there is something that went wrong? Mm. 
Mm. Maybe the patient received a complication. Mm. Maybe the mother died. We also have a scenario wh which when we say that, what made Mrs. X to die? Mm. It's within our profession. Mm. So I will encourage my fellow nurses and midwives that uh, we leave people to advocate for us, for remunerations. Yes, mm. we need it. Mm. But at the same time, let us be responsible citizens mm. and let us do what is expected of us. Wow. That is... Um that's a great submission, Madam mm -hmm. Kakonge. Mm -hmm. You can feel the patriotism from mm -hmm. the core of the art that um, she actually, you know, engages this from that core. Mm -hmm. Beatrice, yes. you, you started from the schools and all, um, and, and in your speech you said you would like this to be a national service model, mm -hmm. that every Ugandan must go through this model okay. before they actually get in their working spaces. Mm -hmm. How long are we going to wait for this to be rolled out? I just can't wait because if my child meets patriotism in secondary and didn't have it in primary, there is a gap there. Or if he meets patriotism at university but didn't have it at the grassroots, it's going to be a little bit of a challenge. Yeah, thank you, Andrew. Mm. Um, actually, we have just finished writing a concept. Okay. We are pushing it to the leaders mm. to find a way of digesting our ideas that we are putting across. Mm. We feel if this is made a national program, mm. a national service program, it will engage everybody. Mm. So it is just our prayer that people buy our idea, mm -hmm. we expand this patriotism, and it becomes a national service program. Mm. So I feel people are just... Uh, they are going to debate on it mm. and with time we shall get the feedback but that is our prayer that we want we want the program to be expanded i'm praying it gets there yes. now that students are in holidays mm. and very soon they're going back to school i think in a week's time also yes. they'll be going back to school mm. how best can we inculcate these values of uh, patriotism and for those of the parents who would like to actually build a quality citizen but they don't have the access to these kind of programs in their spaces where can they find these values and send them down to their children? Uh, the schools, especially the secondary schools in our country, mm -hmm. they already know that uh, they have to train their students almost, at least in every term, they must set aside mm -hmm. some activities to train their students. Patriotism. So in patriotism. Mm. They usually set aside the first week of the term. Mm -hmm. Everywhere in every secondary school, mm. they engage their students in patriotism activities. Mm. So now that schools are going to open, I know they have already put it in their work plan. Mm. They know that in a certain week, we shall have patriotism activities. Mm. Just like you saw in Mulago School of Nursing. Yep. They set aside a whole week. So wow. every secondary school in our country, especially those who didn't do it like last term, mm. they are now going to do it. But the whole message is train these young people about the patriotism program. Mm -hmm. So in schools we shall be there to see, to oversee mm. the activities, to see whether the head teachers are compliant about the whole program. Mm. But I'm very happy to report to you mm. that almost every secondary school now in Uganda mm. is compliant on this program. Mm. They have the clubs, they are very active, the patrons are there. Mm. We have our structures in the districts. Mm. By the way, every district has a patriotism coordinator. Okay. They oversee these activities of patriotism. At the district level. At the district level. Mm. The RDCs are also there. Mm. They oversee activities of patriotism. Mm. We are engaging all the district leaders, eh, the leaders of the district. Mm. They are all now in the know about this program. Mm -hmm. They are our key stakeholders. Whenever they go to these schools, they task them mm. to ensure that the children have been sensitized about the patriotism program. Okay. Thank you so much. Uh, those are uh, giving us feedback here. Amoge Sumaya, I see you on Facebook. Ruma Steven and uh, Shina Shafit. A couple of you have sent us some messages. Let's get some feedback. This one says, uh, good morning. Um, uh, this is uh, Steven Okiria. It, is, it should start with key leaders to be patriots for the love of their country by reaching and putting their country first. Uh, first done being corrupt and selfish and put their stomach first. No way 
you can make a local person put Uganda first. Therefore, leaders should be an example. Thank you. Um, thanks for the show. Wonderful program. I was suggesting, can't you bring it to our sub-counties? Because most of the citizens, most in the local areas, are green about it. Magom from Sa Sabina Manafa district. And this is what we're talking about. Yes. Because uh, they feel it's more like in the city center than in the sub-counties. Actually, mm. we are overwhelmed by requests. Yes. Local gov everywhere people are inviting us. Mm. Can you bring this program to us? Yes. But you know our mandate now still limits us to secondary schools. Okay. But somehow mm. we organize with the RDCs, mm. we go and support them mm. and we train some of these people. The powers that be need to give you more latitude. Uh, to sure, go sure. Let's read some of feedback here coming through. Um, this one says, Good morning, uh, Chijumba from Mubende uh, Army Senior Secondary School. I remember that woman. She once came and talked about the core values and patriotism at Kasenyi mm -hmm. SS in Mubende District. I really appreciate her work. I think that's you, uh, Beatrice. Well, yeah. Question to Beatrice. How can patriotism eradicate poverty in Uganda, which is now escalating in Karamoja sub-region, rather regions, and Sebe region? That is question one. Mm. Uh, uh, this one says, NTV, please help with the number of the principal of Malago School of Nursing and Midwifery. I would love to upgrade over there. Uh, <laughs> uh, we, we're coming. This one says, Andrew, no one can teach you to love your country. Let those ladies stop wasting time and resources. Mengo has never had a program to teach Uganda how to love their kingdom. But no doubt they do. I can't be taught how to love Uganda. I didn't get the name though, but thanks for the feedback. This one says, can patriotism be translated in our local languages? so that everyone can understand it, Esther Kigula, and can advocates of patriotism come on ground, for example, in LC1 and do conferences. That is still Esther. Um, this one says, Mukisa Emmanuel Israel says, I'm a scout at my school, uh, St. Peter's in Zambia, and I believe a good citizen is one who sees something wrong and doesn't keep quiet on who always stands up for the right of the others. Thank you uh, for the show. Greetings to Madame Nampima Eva. Um, good to see you. This is Teacher Martin, Chairperson Private Schools in Nakaseke. I was in Nakaseke over the weekend. Your roads are terrible, but government needs to work on them. He says that how can you extend patriotism classes to us teachers in private schools in Nakaseke? Um, oh, Lord. This should be the last one. This one says, thank you for the program and also good having guests on TV. Patriotism is an important aspect of each one's life. Most of us are brainwashed and so ignorant on what it means to love our countries to the bone. No matter how bad your home is, it will be your home. You have to love it and give everything to develop and see it better than the others. Our neighbors, Randa, have set the great example already. However, what do we have to do about guys that are corrupt? Scandals of public embezzlement, things that water down the spirit of patriotism and sacrifice for this country. Thank you. Okay. So um, let's start with that. Uh, Madam Eva, there was uh, uh, someone who requested for your number. I think you'll give that later when we're done. Uh, mm. I wouldn't like to give the number. Yeah. But maybe I would uh, advise mm. that somebody who wants to study in Lagos School of Nursing and Midwifery. Mm. Uh, you can wait for the advertisement okay. and this advertisement is made by Minister of Education mm. and Sports mm. uh, through the Department of Health, Education and Training. Mm. When the advertisement is made, mm. you make an application, mm -hmm. submit it to the Ministry mm. and if you want Mulago School of Nursing to study from, from that school, mm -hmm. make sure that you put Mulago your first choice. Oh. Ever puts Mulago the first choice is considered. Mm. Yes, let her follow that protocol mm. and she will be enrolled so long as she has the requirement. The requirement. Yes. Well done. Thank you so much. I'm sure now you actually know what to go through. Uh, well, Beatrice, the questions were coming to you. Yes, Andrew. Thank <laughs> the you. good and the heavy ones. I've loved the submissions. Embrace them. <laughs> thank you so much. Mm. Now, I can see many people out there are mm. still saying that you can never teach patriotism. Mm. Someone but used it against yes, the Uganda you, you kingdom. Can't teach but maybe 
what I see, mm. it seems uh, many people do not understand what patriotism is. That's true. They don't understand mm. it. I've already clarified here mm. that patriotism is teaching the people to be good citizens of the country. Mm -hmm. It's all about being a good, responsible See. citizen mm. who is doing what is right, what is good, mm. what is ethical. Mm. That one is a patriot. Okay. So I don't believe that we should not go out to teach people to be good citizens of the country. Mm. If there is information I have and I want people to get it, mm. I must go and teach them and make them aware of that information. The government has programs, for instance, very good programs for our people. Mm -hmm. Many people are not aware about these programs. Mm. During our trainings, we go and give these people knowledge mm. about these programs. And we being patriotic, and we teaching them patriotism. So they should understand all about patriotism. It's all about being responsible, being good, loving your country. Mm. And you can impart that knowledge to the people. Okay. So I still believe and feel it's our duty to go down and teach people to be good. And to nurture patriotism. These cases they are citing out, mm. people are not doing the right things. Yes. True. That's they are corrupt right. people. They are, they are corrupt. scandals. They are in this scandals. Country. We read this in the newspapers mm. every day. Mm. Over the TVs, we mm. are seeing these things happening. Mm. And that is why we are out there and out sensitize the people to stop mm. doing bad. Mm. Hey, to be patriots. They are now saying we should begin with the leaders. Mm. Yes, everybody must be patriotic. Mm. Leaders must show the way. Mm. To be a leader is to show the way. Mm. So if you are a leader out there and you are not doing what is right, then mm. that is absurd. But our duty as a secretariat is to reach out to everybody, mm. young and old, to try to bring them online. Mm. We have reached out to some leaders, we have reached out to young people, and our aim, our duty, our key duties are to tell them to change their ways, to be good, mm. to be good Ugandans. Mm. Somebody is asking, how can patriotism eradicate poverty? Mm. Um, there used to be a program, was it on NTV, when I used to see somebody saying that, Omutwe o tori muavu, gwe muavu. So, mindset. mindset is very, very key. Mm. And uh, we can use our brains to change ourselves, mm. to, ch to change ourselves from poverty to become people who are developmental. Mm. Poverty is just a question of mindset. Mm. There are a lot of opportunities which people need to use. Mm. And we as people in the Patriotism Secretariat, whenever we go out, we sensitize people. Mm. on financial literacy. We tell them the tips of moving away from that level to another level mm -hmm. where they can be, um, where, where they can improve themselves. Mm. So that is our work. So people who are in those poverty levels that he's talking about, mm. I, I don't know where he cited, mm. I, it's the duty of all leaders to go in and sensitize and them. To value work. Mm. Hard work is one of the core values of, of patriotism. patriotism and we usually teach people nobody will bring food on your table you mm. have to work hard for it some people will come and confuse you there are miracles here you mm. must go spend sleepless nights in the church to mm. get rich no we must work That's it true. is through hard work mm. that we can become rich mm. there are so many programs the yeah. government has brought in place mm. for the Muntua ones mm. they are there those yeah. good programs are there mm. people need to know about them mm. embrace them and then change their lifestyles let's answer someone from uh, from from nakaseke who is a teacher he says that um, when is this program um, going to reach the private teachers association and, and, and those maybe entities? Maybe before, maybe before you go to mm. that, mm. I wanted to supplement something yeah. which the commissioner has said. Mm. And I was saying that that's why there is need for this training yeah. of patriotism. Mm. Really they have good teaching sessions. Mm. Uh, I can give an example. One of my students was stranded mm. with school fees. Mm. And because I've undergone through this patriotism, mm. and you have the club for mm. the patriotism it, at the school, mm. they decided to, to, to make, to make so soap. Mm. 
And when they made the soap, each semester we, my students, I required it to bring five liters of liquid soap. Mm. So they made the soap for, for, for they made the soap mm. among the, uh, within the club, mm. and they decided to, to, to sell it to these students wow. who are bringing it for, uh, for to the school mm. as, as, as a requirement. Mm. And the student managed to get money. Because of the patriotism. Be, because yeah. of the mm. patriotism. Mm. So I would think that if this patriotism is embraced mm. uh, and the people really embrace it and they attend the teaching, mm. you will find that even those ones who are saying that they are poor, mm. they can find something, they, they can find something to do mm. that can help them to, allevi to alleviate them from their poverty. Okay. Um, uh, finally, Beatrice, I want you to respond to the teacher in Nakaseke. Mm. When are you engaging the private schools? Um, and patriotism, Andrew, is not limited to government-aided schools only. Mm. Mm. Uh, this program, uh, when it was launched, every school in the country, mm -hmm. secondary schools, mm. they were tasked to embrace it. Mm. So government-aided schools, private schools mm. are all, mm. they, should, they should embrace the program. So they should they write involved. to the secretariat for you to go to them? So whoever wants like a training, mm. they know the procedures. I've said we have district coordinators. Okay. In every district, mm. we have coordinators there. Mm. They can go through them. Mm. When they need us to go in and reach their schools, we mm. can reach there. Mm. Many people have been inviting us. We go to all the schools, mm. whether it's government aided, whether it's or private. private. Mm. They are all handling government children. That's nice. They all need to be taught mm. about this good message wow. of patriotism. Well, there you have it. It comes uh, from the great uh, elders of this country, uh, Madame Nampi Makakonge Eva, the principal of Malago School of Nursing and Midwifery. And we had uh, Madame Bananuka Beatrice, an assistant commissioner at the National Secretariat of Patriotism Club's Office of the President. And this program was powered by the National Patriotism Corps Uganda. And to you, the great viewer, I want to thank you for being a part of this conversation. But this doesn't stop here. You have a duty to love your country, you have a duty to protect your country, and you have a duty to be loyal to your country. I'm Andrew Chamagiro. Good afternoon.